Hello, my amazing fans all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are welcome to Pretty Good TV. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are fine. I want to use this media to appreciate all my support all over the world. May God Almighty bless you. I really appreciate you guys as you support me. I really appreciate you. God bless you all for your support. I want to appreciate my Ghanaian fans. May God Almighty bless you. I really appreciate you guys. I don't take your love for granted. I love you all so much. God bless you. If you come across my YouTube channel, Pretty Go TV, you have not subscribed, please support your girl, support your sister. Don't forget to hit that red button, hit the notification bell. Whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. As you do so, may God in heaven bless you all. I love you all. All my host subscriber, I love you all. All my returning subscriber, I love you all. God bless you. So, my people, we are here today with another amazing video video today this video that i'm doing i'm doing now i will leave the video click in this video you guys should try and watch this hello my beautiful fans you're welcome to pretty good tv how you are doing i hope you guys are doing great so guys i'm about to leave a video president nana kufado just reduced the price of meat in ghana so that it will be easy for the citizens of ghana try and watch this video and leave your comment below don't forget to like and share my video don't forget to leave your comment i will get back to you watch this video you will enjoy it significant reduction over the past few months we have seen an astronomical increase in price something that we do not necessarily the price of cement i'm sorry something that we do not necessarily have control over we do not have control over because these price highs have come about as a result of huge shipping costs international shipping costs which also came about because of the uh, the covid 19 pandemic so global challenges that we do not have control over should teach us a lesson that we should resort to the use of our local raw materials in the production of building materials for the construction industry and that is why i'm happy to have come here we have challenges challenges that if they are help it will help uh, in the commercial production of this pozzolana some of them they have shared with us and as government whatever it is that we can also do to support we will uh, do uh, I've asked them to send uh, the ministry a letter regarding what they need and we will also make an effort uh, advocating for them, championing their cause, to raising the money to assist in their work. So that is why I came here and I, and, and, and I, and I thank you for the support of the media. You have to help us to, to promote this product. Many people are not aware. Um, the, the 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 giant cement manufacturing companies you must also let them to come into the production of these uh, these products because uh, today for instance when i went to see some projects in my constituency the contractors were telling me that they, 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 there's no cement in the system it's very expensive and <laughs> you don't even have them but here's the case if you're able to invest in our local Pozzolana products, we don't need to uh, find ourselves in a situation where there's, where there's no cement in the country, then we can uh, continue with our construction activities. So we need your support, the media. The government is prepared to provide all the necessary support that uh, this centre needs. But you also need the support to also drive in the advocacy in letting the 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 the, the, the investors to invest in, in in this product we can have a policy to make sure that uh, a good percentage of our uh, construction materials come from the local uh, sources but at the end of the day do we have the supply we may not necessarily have the supply because we haven't invested in these uh, uh, products into commercial production quantities 
That is the challenge we are facing. And that is why yesterday I made it clear that government is supporting in two ways. The first is to lead the advocacy in letting Ghanaians accept the product with a view to increasing demand for it. And secondly, letting government uh, provide some sort of offtake. I've said that I'm actively engaging the Minister of Education who, who has actually accepted and has embraced the idea of letting uh, contractors for local building of the local schools to use bent bricks. These are some of the things that we are doing to create effective demand for these local building materials so that investors who come in only for profit, when they see that there is a business uh, opportunity there, they will grab it. But it's the government, it's the duty of the government to provide the enabling environment. And that is exactly what we are doing. And what she and I'm paying for? Well, so uh, the puzzle lands, we can say it's called extended cement, you know. Uh, over the world, the construction industry is contributing so much to carbon emissions. So corporately, I usually like talking about carbon emissions and the potential of reducing it. But here in Ghana, because we don't really feel the impact of carbon emissions, I usually talk about uh, the cost. So we can get two benefits from the use of puzzlers. Number one, the, the cost, the economic benefit, and then number two, the environmental benefit. As I was saying, the construction industry generates almost like 8 to 10% of the world carbon emissions. And uh, the world is looking at the construction industry and looking at the possibility to reduce it. So, I mean, the UN is really forging for that thing to happen. And so climate change is really hurting us so much. And if we are to open our eyes now that, I mean, I think the president is the head of, I think, sustainable issues, uh, we can actually look at the construction industry where we can actually look at the use of cement because the whole thing is about cement. Cement is a killer if you don't, I mean, try to minimize it. It's going to, its production and its consumption leads to so much of carbon dioxide emissions in the world. And the best is to use pozzolans to really reduce carbon dioxide emissions. How can pozzolana reduce uh, cost? Yes, yeah, so the cost is that, uh, so if I use 100% of cement, what we are saying is that by the research, you can actually reduce the cement content by 70%.